like I personally think, and I'm more than happy for anyone to tell me otherwise, but I think that I was kind of respectful to every single person on that show. I stood up for my partner when I needed to, and I was always by her side because I understood her, but I was never mean or disrespectful to anyone. There's so many nuggets here, so I won't interrupt the interview with my opinion. What you just heard is the theme for the entire video. I felt Pretty like disgusting. a little piece of dirt on that table. Do you think that the other brides, in particular the blonde-headed brides, look down on Dom? Because I know that there's been a lot of comments about classism. She called her in this interview low class. She even made a, a comment about the blonde hair. Like, all of the blonde-haired brides would stick together. And in this- Dom's blonde. In this podcast, she even said that, you know, her best friend of 15 years or whatever that she met at school has blonde hair. And she's like, I saw her in the in the yard when I was younger. I saw that she had blonde hair and instantly gravitated towards her. And Who cares her. what people look like? Well, I've got so many think, comments on this. Yeah. Do you think that like the brides looked down on Dom or they felt like she was different to them? And there was a bit of like, you know, I don't know. What do you think? I think I there's a very big... I that very well, but you know what I'm no, trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. There's a very big difference between class and social dynamic or like social culture. Mm. Right? Just because someone is from a different culture or someone has a different way of thinking and projecting what they're saying, what they're doing, whatever, does not mean that they are at a, of a lower class. Mm. There's a very, very big difference between that. That's so true. Yeah. And let's go on to start talking about... <sighs> I don't want to bring it up, but, you know, some of the things that Dom has been called, both on and off this show, in my eyes, I would never say anything like that to anyone, about anyone. What do you mean? Like the white trash comment or- is That's one of the comments. Worse? Then even just, no, that's definitely one of the comments. There's been a lot of nasty remarks. I think one of the biggest ones is saying that she's a horrible person. This is just another case of you being awful. This is just another case of you being awful. Because- now, I said this on the show, that's a holistic comment about someone's character That's you are a horrible person speaks mm. is a very, very large comment to make. And nah, you can't say someone is a horrible person unless they have irreparably done something horrible. But just because you don't get along with someone does not mean that they are a horrible person. Maybe you just don't see eye to eye. Well, someone can do horrible things and still be a good person or, you know. Everyone makes mistakes. Like you can, and I think that was what was really good about Dom during the experiment and, and you as well, because obviously you guys were mm -hmm. such a team. You only ever attacked people for their behavior. So if they did horrible things or if they act badly, you guys would pull them up on that. Yeah. And I don't think, I can't Actually, name example, anything that uh, Dom did aside from the glass smashing, which yeah. I still think was provoked. I can't really think of anything that you guys did to, you know, say anything bad about anyone. I don't remember any comments, like mm, no. nasty comments about anyone. No, it, wasn't, it was never nasty comments about people. It was always like, in Dom's words, it would always be like, why did you do that? Why would you do that? How could you do that to this? Mm. That's sort of the way that the conversations would go. Whereas um, when it was on the other foot, it was like white trash, the cyanide comment and all of that stuff. I, I just think it, there's just- I didn't just... like that at all. I did not like that. Yeah. How did you feel hearing all of that, especially about your wife at the time? Yeah. Well, I have nothing but love and respect for Dom. I really do. And we are not together, but doesn't mean that we are not like, I absolutely love the girl. She's beautiful. She is amazing. And without a doubt, the, the main supporter of me as a person following the show, you know, like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. She gives me so much guidance. Like, oh, have you been speaking to this person? Have you been speaking to this person? She's helped me out immensely because I have a million questions, especially learning how to use Instagram. <laughs> how to use Instagram? <laughs> Seriously. What's TikTok? I think I asked you how to use TikTok once and you're like, I don't even I know. Like, don't ask ask, me. Um, I'm still learning. Ask tech. <laughs> Anyway, so she's been a great support for me both in and outside the show. So that's how I view her and that's how I see her, you know? And, like, I just don't understand this other side of the the name calling and the dragging people through mud. Mm. I, I won't agree with that. And I haven't spoken up at all, but I, I'm done with it. Had enough. <laughs> I've had enough of listening to people try and drag other people through the mud. Well, I kind of felt like, I was like, oh, maybe if you guys just don't you know, respond or if you just ignore it, maybe it will go away. But then there was like six interviews and it just, kept it just going. keeps coming. It kind of got worse. Like each, it was like they kind of topped themselves each time. And I was mm. like, oh, damn. It just kept going. But and I think it says a lot about you guys because you haven't stooped to their level and you haven't dragged up any 
stuff, all you've really done, like, and even this is just defending what's been said, you haven't stooped to the level, you haven't called them names back, you haven't engaged in like a tit for tat kind of thing. No, I, I won't. I won't. That speaks to your characters. And I always say to people, it always comes out at the end. Like you can get a really bad edit, you can get a good edit, but how you behave after the show mm. proves whether your edit was correct or not. And well, I feel you, like- right? That's your own brand. That's your own. That's what you're doing. I feel like already we've seen their true colors. Like, I feel like how they've behaved after the show is worse than on the show. And I'm like, Jesus, I feel like they all got a good edit, to be honest. Do you think so? Do you think they got a good edit from what you witnessed on the show and what you've seen after? I don't think they showed the worst, but I also don't think they showed their best either. Mm -hmm. So, I know for a fact, especially about me, there was worse things said. That last dinner party, that was not a quick one. Oh, can you elaborate? No, I won't. When Olivia has a crack, just all about me and my God-given sexual performance. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That was a lot longer. And I just sat there and was like, awesome. How did you feel in that moment? Like, it was pretty... Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you really, 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 really did enjoy this video, please click on the subscribe button so you can be notified of more videos like the... I felt pretty like disgusting. a little piece of dirt on that table. When everyone's talking about you and you're there and it's like... It no one was talking to, to me. Conversation, you know? No one was talking to me. It was one of the... And I know Dom stands very strongly for this, but that was one of the more painful moments on the show. And I know for a fact, two seconds later from that, I shut down and I said, that's me. I'm done. I was so grateful that that was the last dinner party. So, I can guarantee you if it wasn't, I would not have been there the following week. Wow. I'm sorry, but I can't be... I, I was hurt and like, yeah. And I feel like when that was brought up, it was used as like an attack. Like it was weaponized sure. against you. Well, it was weaponized against Dom and you. And it was just something that was not relevant to anything. What were you getting out of bringing that up? But it was used as a weapon to get back at you guys and make you look bad and sling some mud and mm -hmm. prove a point, which I don't think they really achieved. I sat right there and Dom did as well and- you know, I know for a fact, and some of the things we'll discuss later, I know I've really angered Dom as well. But yeah, I know she was most angry about that that night. And obviously, I was most hurt by that that night. Mm. That sucked. Can't even imagine. No, oh, shit. Like, I personally think, and I'm more than happy for anyone to tell me otherwise, but I think that I was kind of respectful to every single person on that show. I stood up for my partner when I needed to, and I was always by her side because I understood her. But I was never mean or disrespectful to anyone 